Good afternoon, I'm Dan Weesey with RDO Integrated Controls. Here to talk a little bit about our IC or Intelligent Faction product that we offer through Topcon. What we have here is a product that allows the contractor to know exactly where his roller's at, the temperature that he's rolling in his asphalt at, and also the density or the stiffness of the product that he's rolling. How we do that is using a couple of different technologies mixed together to give us a finished product. How it works essentially is that we use our Topcon GPS system using GPS and GLONASS satellites allows us to very accurately pick up exactly where that roller is at, which means that we can track exactly where the passes are at and how many passes we've made over the product. When we talk about the product, we're typically talking about asphalt paving. So what would happen is the contractor would place the asphalt paving with a paver and then follow it up with the roller. The roller would then tell exactly where it's at and how many passes is made over the asphalt. With this product, not only does it accurately describe every pass, but every pass on every roller that's on the job. So if one roller, let's say roller one, is making passes in its pattern, roller two also knows the passes it's made, so we don't overcompact the asphalt. Also knows exactly the coverage, so all of the passes are made on top of each other. The other things that are important are the temperature of the asphalt, so we're not on it too soon or too late. We do that by temperature sensors mounted on both ends of the roller. And then the final part of this is the density or the stiffness of the asphalt. So that we're not over compacting once we get to the stiffness. At this point, with most contractors, that's done with a density tester that they actually carry out and place on the asphalt. Typically called a nuclear sensor or a nuclear tester, it's only done periodically throughout. When we test the stiffness on the roller itself, it's 100% coverage on everywhere that roller goes. So it knows when it's achieved maximum density and they don't overroll the product. Using those three things together, both the location with the GPS satellites, the temperature from the temperature sensors on the machine, and the density of the asphalt or stiffness, all that comes out to a better product at the end of the job.